Thank you so much. Um, so today joining us, we've got uh, in three incredible people, Chloe, Yasmin, and Amber. Uh, Chloe, do you want to say a little bit about yourself to the crowd? Oh, yes. Hi, everybody. Um, and thank you very, very much for inviting me. I'm really, really stoked to be here. Um, I'm based um, in England and I am an ESOL teacher, English um, for speakers of the languages. Um, I teach adults predominantly. Um, though I have done summer camp in my youth, um, which I loved, but I now teach adults. <laughs> um, I work in the further education sector. So um, that's a big diverse sector that includes community centres, colleges, prison ed. Yeah, I absolutely love it. Love it. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Thank you so much, Chloe. Uh, it'll be really interesting to hear your perspective as well and to see how your experience with adult learners will be able to kind of jump across into the student um, learning as well. So thank you so much for joining us. Next up, we've got Yasmin joining us from Tunisia. Hey, Yasmin, do you want to introduce yourself? Uh, hello. Uh, not hello. Why <laughs> so Harati? Not hello. Why you are angry? I am so angry from Wacknet because they didn't send me a t-shirt like you. Oh, don't be jealous, don't be jealous. They send it to you, a beautiful sticker. Really? Yeah, really. You and for the, all the participants for my uh, Wacknet training. Uh, so thank you, Wacknet, for this I, I received it in my birthday. Hello, everyone. I am Yasmin from Tunisia. <laughs> nice to, to be here. Thank you so much, Yasmin. That was, yeah, that was the best introduction we've had so far. It will be amazing to hear your perspective. And I hope that the, uh, I hope the puppet comes out again at some point. That'll be amazing. Maybe you can close the show for us. <laughs> Thank you, Yasmin. Um, next up, we've got Amber. Hey, Amber, do you want to tell the folks at home a little bit about yourself? I suddenly feel very inadequate because I don't have a puppet. <laughs> <laughs> but my name is Amber. I'm from uh, North Carolina in the United States. Um, I teach in Henderson County Public Schools, but I teach adults. So I work with 23 schools of staff, as well as three central office buildings. And I work with a partner. We support professional learning in, uh, for technology integration, as well as I'm also an instructional designer. Super Amazing. happy to be here. That's, that's fantastic. I can't wait to hear your perspective on things as well and hear a little bit about your Winklet journey. So um, let's kick us off then. Chloe, this is the Community Showcase. This is your moment to share um, how you've been using Wakelet and, uh, and, and uh, share any ideas and any notions and any tips and tricks that you might have picked up along the way. So I'm going to pass over to you and take it away. Thank you very, very much. Okay, well, we're talking about a journey. So I'm going to start with a little bit of a journey, which was, um, yeah, okay. So um, I work for an organisation that delivers um, professional learning and CPD. And by CPD, I mean, con that's continuous professional development. You might have a different acronym um, <laughs> for, for you. Um, and that's basically for teachers because, you know, what? we're always learning, aren't we? So it's continuous. Our professional development is always, it, always going on. So um, I work for a company, an organisation that um, delivers lots of different kinds of events. We do um, conferences, day long courses. We do dissemination events where we're sharing things at the end of a project, collaborative days, that kind of thing. OK, so this is this is what this is the journey. Right. So um, I'm, I'm going about a year ago, approximately a year ago when England entered lockdown. So we've delivered webinars online and things like that before for an hour, okay? But we've never had to deliver an entire day long event online until this time last year. Um, and in fact, it was, I think about two days before lockdown and um, we decided we had an event two days before um, that our country went into lockdown and we decided, um, yeah, we're, we're going to turn our event online um, because um, we didn't know how many folks were going to turn up to the event. And um, also some of our trainers were uncomfortable about um, doing it face to face. So we decided to do it online. We have now a day and a half to sort it out. And we just went with it. Um, and uh, yeah, so basically in the past year, we've been doing lots of different events with that hat on. But also I work for a charity, an, an ESOL teachers charity called Natekla. Bit of a shout out there. Absolutely love my Natekla family. Um, and <laughs> so I've been helping those um, those guys do events as well. And um, I've been using Wakelet as a landing page for um, all of our different Zoom links, all of our different information. That's how I've been using Wakelet. So 
Um, I basically started from that first event at lockdown and I decided to start um, kind of like reflecting on all my different experiences from all these different events. And how did I reflect? Well, of course, I used a Wakelet blog, didn't I? So I'm going to start with that Wakelet blog before I go and show you that Wakelet landing page. OK, so I'm going to share my screen. <laughs> and this oh, is wow. this is my blog. Ah, oh, perfect. I, I was I was anticipating you saying, "Can you see my screen?" But you did. I was just going to say, I admire you, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good. <laughs> I can see my green box, so I'm happy. I'm comfy. <laughs> so this is this is um, a blog, um, and so basically, this is a really really long blog, and I'll give you the link to it later if you're interested in having a little go at it and having a little read and all the different reflections. And it starts with yeah, that was it, March 2020. Um, <laughs> it starts there and it ends in December. So all the different events that we did. Um, so it kind of like explores that. But I'm just going to show you a few things here. I, oh, I wrote it like a recipe. I love metaphors. OK, so <laughs> every single little recipe. So I've got 100 grams rhythm there. That's a little ingredient. And that ingredient is actually reflection on one particular event. So the reason why I want to show you this is because I just wanted to show a few little tips that I like to do. So as you see here, there's loads of text here because I've reflected. Um, there's quite a big chunk of text. But what I, you'll notice is occasionally I kind of like embolden things. And the way the reason why I embolden things when I'm writing a really long blog is so that people can just like flick through so they can um, you know just scan through a big blog and pull out certain chunks. Or if they don't have time to read it, they can just see certain chunks and they can navigate to it because this is a really big one, a really long one. And the other really cool thing was because we were to, this is a reflection on events. It wasn't just my reflection on how I felt an event went, but I really wanted to know how other people found it. So of course, oh, this is and this is one of the reasons. This is why I actually got onto Wakelet in the first place. Tweets. Um, the fact that I can just add a tweet right there and then, and you know that that is one of my favourite things. That and the immersive reader, but that's a whole other session, isn't it? I love the immersive reader, but yeah, just being able to put those tweets in there, that just kind of like to me, it illustrated and kind of brought it to life a little bit. This blog that I was writing on this impact. So this is my blog, but I'm going to go on to those landing pages that I was talking about. So our first event was just it was one event, one link, and then we just decided to get bigger and we had like multiple zoom rooms what are we going to do with like multiple zoom rooms we have lots of different links it's going to get really complicated so we decided to use wakelet so forgive me just a moment i'm just going to go on to one of my other spaces there we are there's our events oh i love these spaces goodness me all right <laughs> i can see amber agreeing yeah <laughs> So this is the landing page as an example for one of our events. Now, the way that I described it was if you imagine going to a big a conference, OK, and it's a few hundred people there. And what happens when you go in? Well, you get a sign in desk, don't you? And uh, on that sign in desk, people are talking about, you know, their ID cards, which in Zoom is just renaming yourself, you know, with your name and then maybe your organisation. That's having your ID card on. OK, and then we've got a little bit of a link to a little virtual cafe over here. Oh, my goodness, I'm lost. OK, how do, how do we know? You know, how can we get help if we get lost? Well, there's another link down there. And then we've got an exhibition space. So, again, I'm imagining this. You just it's like a face to face event. On one side, you've got sign in desk. Then you've got an exhibition space with all of these this bits of content. Oh, that's my fit. Yeah, there's a few videos that I've made there getting people into Zoom. Um, a little bit of a, a document that we worked up that we wanted people to reflect on during the day. A few other bits and bobs. If you imagine this is this is as you're walking around, you've got oh, there's your hashtag, a newsletter you might want to sign up to, and then oh, this little bit, a bit of a well-being check because you know Zoom fatigue is a thing, especially when you're on all day. Um, and well, originally, oh, here we go, a bit of Joe Wicks. Like, Who likes a bit of Joe Wicks? Um, well. <laughs> Well, I mean, you know what? I started with Joe Wicks, but actually I ended up changing this because Joe Wicks was just a little bit too much when you've got a half an hour break in the middle of a CPD day, go and do a bit of Joe Wicks for 10 minutes. It was a bit much. So I changed it to something. Well, I gave people an option. <laughs> I gave people yoga or Joe Wicks. It was up to them what they wanted. Um, and then, oh, there we go. A little, little bit of, okay, so this is the break. And then this is where we get onto the agenda. 
So then for the rest of the land, the rest of this page, it's an agenda. And I've colour coded it and I really love using these little emojis. I don't know whether anyone's got onto that. I love using these little emojis and they just kind of like give it, give it a little bit of colour. And as you're going down, especially if you start making really big, long wakelets, it just breaks it up a little bit. Um, so we've got our time, our information, and then importantly, we've got all of our links, especially when you've got lots of links going on. Again, a little bit of a little, you know, computer emoji, that tiny little simple things, but I just love those things. It really, really helps. Okay. Now, so this is what they've got. This is what this is one link. And that's all they need all day. Depend, even though you've got lots of different Zoom links going on, that's all they need, which is awesome, right? But what about after the event? And then, um, you know, you, you know, during an event, you've got lots of resources. This teacher's giving out this, this teacher's doing this. You've got all this awesome stuff going on. You're going to get another email with a load of other resources on. Or are you? No, you're just going to get, it's going to be the same link. Are you just going to use another Wakelet link? So I'm going to go back because I actually learned this. This is a copy. So I ended up, what I ended up doing is just using exactly the same link. So a little bit of Blue Peter style. Here's one I made earlier. Okay, so <laughs> bit of a holler to anyone who remembers Blue Peter or knows what I'm on about. <laughs> only only so the people in the UK are going to get that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> a few folks, okay. So um, this is what I ended up doing is, what I love about Wakelet is that it's organic and it can grow with you, like that blog that I was just on about. So I started with... Um, the landing page and then I basically said to everyone that's your link give me a week and I'm going to add it I'm going to add all the golden nuggets what I call the golden nuggets from the event no you're not going to get 10 chat tra chat transcripts that is way too much okay instead you're going to get golden nuggets from the event all your resources all those links all those fantastic things are going to be in that exact same link that I sent you before the event it's all right there for you so you can see here, here's one I prepared earlier. This is what we have. We have, I made a little, uh, one of our, our rapporteur. Um, she was basically um, a fantastic new role that we created for these big events where she would go to all these different rooms and then she kind of collect all the fantastic gold nuggets and she made a little thing link. There's a link right there to our little thing link. Our exhibition space, it's just minimized. So it's all collated. We've got the stream for the particular hashtag. Oh, there we go. I moved it to some desk stretches after Joe Wicks. Yeah, um, so <laughs> something a bit more doable. And then um, and then I went into that welcome again. You can see that little green dot so that the green was the color that I was using for the agenda. And you can see that I put things here. It's, I basically had the same writing, but I put it into past tense because obviously the event has already happened. But I used the same text. And then I found that um, Wakelet then became like a narrative. This became a, the story of the event. So even if you were a particular practitioner, an English practitioner, and you went to see all the English things, but maybe you also teach maths and you wish that you could have gone to all those other things. Well, here you go. You can read this narrative and see all this fantastic other stuff that's going on. Now, um, before I shush and move on to our other fantastic folks that we've got here, Yasmin and Amber, I just wanted to go on about maybe a few things that I would like to change and add and experiment with in, in future. And that is these fantastic new reactions. I don't know whether anyone's had a little go at these yet. Well, oh my goodness. Okay, so this particular event that I'm showing you right now, I think we've got one up here, but you know rea reactions weren't really a thing yet at this point and as you can see here we did a mentee to find out what teachers wanted to focus on whether they wanted to focus on English maths or if they were dual practitioner and wanted English and maths what we could have done is in the sign-in desk maybe I could have had like a little text that said maths one that said English one that said English and maths and then they could have just come on there and just given us a reaction we would have known straight away without them having to go to a mentee what actual workshops they wanted to go to what their focus was during the day you know um and the other thing is that in that signing desk previously we might put something like a google form um that would just have like name organization as a register basically and um and then we decided to just co-pilots or co-pilots are the folks that kind of like that we're behind the scenes we're not the trainers but we're behind the scenes helping it all happen and we would be going into all these different rooms doing registers and it just got it got really difficult a bit too you know really un 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 unwieldy 
And the big thing is that for me, these events, when they were face to face, they were all about community. They were all about people chatting with each other and getting to know each other. When you're in Zoom and you're in a Zoom meeting, because we do Zoom meetings, um, a Zoom meeting kind of set up rather than the webinar set up. Um, if you pop things into chat, when you arrive, you actually don't see everything else that people have said. So if they introduce themselves, you don't see that. So what I decided is this is something I'm going to explore. Again, I'm going to show you one of my other spaces. This is my FE training space. OK, and this is a starter activity that I've written for an ESOL class. This is a template so you can totally nick it. Be my guest. It's really, really simple, but it's just look at this. OK, can you imagine how if I did this as a collaborative wake clerk, how this could be in a sign in desk to so people could just introduce themselves and say hi. They could do it in text. They could have an image. They could add a video. They could do whatever they liked as an introduction. So, yeah, that that was what I would like to do. Definitely going forward. And my last thing is if you would like a template for that event landing page you can have it because i've made it into a template and this is the link i'm going to give you in just a moment there it is right there and when i click on that as well you'll see I've, that's the event template so you can use that if you would like to use it there's lots of things down here they're all tips though you can you can read it you can ignore it you can do what you want with it you can cut it out <laughs> But they're just a few tips from me. You might have been, do, been doing your own events and have loads of tips to share as well, which would be awesome. So definitely like get me on Twitter and let me know how it goes. If you ever use this template, definitely let me know how it goes and what you thought of it. I'm always up for changing things, adapting things and making it better and improving. So, um, yeah, thank you very much for letting me come and show this today. Thank you so much, Chloe. That was absolutely phenomenal like i i learned so much just then um i wanted to just start by picking at a few little things there that i found really exciting this idea of using wakelet as a landing page um we always say that you know wakelet it is it could really replace a website like it, it's it's there's so much that you can do with it and it looks so visually appealing and it's so easy to use that if you're planning on creating a website for your event or a micro page for yourself or a portfolio, whatever it would be, where you'd usually think, oh, I have to learn how to code. I have to perhaps pay for a domain name, all that kind of thing. That just goes out the window. And you've demonstrated that absolutely perfectly with that, that landing page. Um, I loved how you're using spaces as well. It's always great to see people using spaces to split up the different areas. And um, those of you who don't know about spaces, just to the left hand of your home area, uh, you can create a new space. And a space is just an added layer of organization for you. So it's an it, it entire a new area on your Wakelet homepage and you can use it to create uh, new areas for different topics, different subjects, and you can create new collections, invite people in. So it's great seeing that. Um, I also love the idea of curating the conference experience because I know that I'm really guilty of this. When I go to conferences and when I, well, when I used to go to conferences before 2020, um, I was I, I always used to get wrapped up in the fun of the conference and you meet so many new people, you're handed so many different gift bags, business cards, all that kind of thing. And then when you go back to your team, you know, they're like, how was the conference? You know, and you're like, yeah, it was it was really good. And you can't share your learning in, in a really, you know, interesting way. So what I found people are doing and, and what I myself started doing was whenever I went to a conference was curate that experience on Wakelet. So, you know, we've got Community Week 2021 coming up soon. And I know that most of the community are going to be capturing all the best moments of that conference and putting them all into one place that they can then share with their peers and their colleagues and that kind of thing. So amazing idea. I also loved how it was like the complete experience, like nobody's missing out. You know, you made sure that everything was going to be there. Everything was in one place. Love that. And this one phrase came to mind. It's like one link to rule them all. Right. You know, like how how in Lord of the Rings, it's like one ring to rule them all. Well, with Wakelet, it's like one link to rule them all. It's like everything is there in one place under one link. I loved how you mentioned all the different kinds of platforms that you'd have to get people to go on to view that content. Whereas with Wakelet, you brought it all together in one place. Absolutely loved it. And of course, big shout out to using uh, the reactions as well as feedback. Um, absolutely love that stuff. I know people in the chat have, have asked for links and you're sending them. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that. That was incredible. Um, next up, we've got uh, Yasmin. Yasmin, take it away. I'm sure everybody's really eager to see how you've been using Wakelet. Yeah. Uh, I and to see the, the puppet as well at some point. I hope, they, <laughs> I hope he makes an appearance. <laughs> okay. Uh, you see my screen? 
Yes. Yes, okay. Hello again. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. I am Miss Nisekri, a senior teacher from Tunisia. Uh, I had the Global Teacher Award 2020. I am a founder and the manager of uh, Tunisia Association of Modern Technology. I am master trainer and global trainer. Uh, this is uh, my profile worklet, my worklet profile to introduce myself. This is my first worklet, what I do, why, what I did. I did this uh, uh, worklet to introduce myself. Uh, who, want, uh, uh, who wants to know more about me? I will uh, put the link. Uh, my activity here. Uh, so, uh, what do I use worklet for? Uh, I use a worklet uh, platform for for many uh, of reasons. So I organize my uh, profile into sections, like uh, you see here. Uh, in the first, talking about me uh, to introduce myself and my uh, personal activities here in Tunisia or uh, in the Arab uh, world. Uh, in Worklet, uh, here, I document the most important stages with Worklet. And uh, recently, we, uh, me and Iman and uh, Ahmed al Najjar, Mohammed Hazanin, and many other Arabic uh, uh, ambassadors, uh, we create this space in Facebook. Why? Uh, this is a space is Arabic Worklet community. We found that this space, which uh, is the first Arabic space for Worklet, to exchange experience, to uh, encourage us the, the other to use Worklet. I invite all the person to be with us in this uh, space. Uh, and, uh, and I, I use Worklet. And uh, here, in uh, here in uh, the Tunisia Association of Modern Technology. Uh, here I, uh, I present our work, our training, our association, our initiative. And in the next, my name is Nafit Tejdid, really, really, I don't, I didn't find a, a good translation for uh, this program. This is my live program on Facebook. I put here the link. Uh, the record and my educational articles. Really, I love using Wacklet to write my edu educational articles. Why? Because it's perfect. For me, it's very perfect. Uh, I can put notes, links, video, picture, PDF. I uh, show you some article like this. Uh, this uh, game uh, this is uh, explaining game I adopt uh, in my class. Here we find, here we find the, a download link. We find uh, uh, tips. You find the explanation how you can use this uh, this game in your uh, class. Uh, really, it's uh, it's perfect for me to uh, to write my article in um, in Worklet. Uh, I have many, many articles is in Arabic, but uh, soon uh, I will translate in English. Uh, like, uh, like this uh, article, he is about the multiple uh, intelligences. Here I put uh, the tips, the advice, uh, the link, uh, the PDF, uh, and with a beautiful uh, background, GIF background, really I advise you to use Wacklet to write your article, to prepare your lesson, because you can you can in Worklet uh, put a link, PDF, pictures, uh, video record, and uh, it's easy, it's easy to give uh, for the student. You uh, can only uh, print the QR code like I do. Every time I print the QR code and I uh, give for my students. I uh, really I teach only uh, teach uh, the first class. It's uh, they uh, they uh, they have uh, six years, only six years, but they can use Worklet. And in actuality, 
uh, I, uh, I put the different topics, they aren't classified. So what I do another with the worklet, with worklet, uh, we can, really we can do space like here, we do this space for uh, our uh, association. The member of uh, association can here uh, put the link for a worklet. They uh, they create a worklet here to uh, to cal collaborate with uh, with each other, to uh, to share our work, uh, to invite each other to uh, in the event. Uh, really, it's uh, amazing for me to use uh, worklet. Uh, and uh, in, the, in the writing for the article. And uh, I invite all the Arab person here to, to join us in the Arab worklet community. Email can put uh, the link here. Uh, that's what uh, I do with, uh, with worklet. Uh, that is what I do with worklet and I advise you to, to uh, write your article uh, because you can't uh, do a beautiful article with the link, with the record, uh, with uh, a beautiful uh, background. That's this. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Was there anything else that you wanted to show Yasmin? Or is that it? Uh, no. No. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you so much. Okay. Again, so so many amazing things to, to discover there. Um, first of all, I love the way that you used Wakelet initially as like an about me uh, uh, um, collection. This is really, really powerful. So we're seeing so many educators starting to use Wakelet to create just about me collections. And in these collections, you, instead of just saying, you know, I'm Nisba, I work at Wakelet and I like basketball or whatever it might be. I can, you know, show videos and pictures of me playing basketball. I can show all the, to all the events that I've been at with Wakelet, I can, you know, show so much more than just a few sentences. And the great part is I can send this in one link. So if you're looking to introduce yourselves to your students in the coming, um, the next school year, this is an incredible way for that, them to get to see you as a person, right, as a human. I remember whenever I used to see a teacher outside of school in the market or at the gym or whatever it might be, it was always like, oh my gosh, they're a real person. They have a life outside of school. Well, this kind of takes all that away because you know they get to know who you are a little bit better than um, if you were to just describe it. So that's really good. I loved how you use sections in your profile as well. Big shout out to that. Um, an amazing way to organize your profile is to add sections. It stops the profile from becoming really cluttered. And it's a really nice way for people to navigate to you know, the content that they're looking for in a really quick way. So love that. Um, I also love this idea of creating communities as well. So I know that Yasmin, you're really active in the um, Arabic uh, speaking Wakelet community. And you know we have Wakelet communities um, in you know the uh, three of the most amazing um, Croatian ambassadors uh, joined us last time. Um, you know, we have these micro communities popping up. So if your country is not represented yet as a Wakelet community, feel free to get in touch with us. You know, we'll, we, we create a Facebook group for you. We support you. We give you um, competitions to run or all, all kinds of stuff. And, and it's just an amazing way to get lots of people from all around the world involved. So I loved how you did that. Um, another you. one was, I noticed how you used your profile as a portfolio as well. So as teachers and as educators, you, you do incredible things every single day. And so many of those things, they happen and then they're forgotten about, right? One of the things that I love about educators using Wakelet as a portfolio is quickly capturing those amazing things, putting them all in one place, and then having them as like a legacy page where you can go back and say, you know, this is what happened this month. This is what happened this week. All those amazing moments don't get lost when you're using them, uh, as a, uh, when you're creating a portfolio using them. Um, love the background GIFs as well. I know, I know plenty of people are using GIFs um, on Wakelet. It's a really nice way of making the uh, collection and your content pop. Um, we all know that students love colorful things. They love anything that moves. So um, having a GIF uh, to separate your collection or as a background or cover image is a really amazing way to um, engage your students. I love the idea of printing off QR codes as well and getting the students to scan them onto their devices. So Wakelet works on mobile web. It works on iOS, Android, iPad. So it's very easy for the students to just pick up their phone uh, scan a QR code and be taken to that learning resource. Thank you so much, Yasmin. I know that you just shared the link to the um, Arabic Facebook group there. Anybody who um, uh, speaks Arabic and wants to get involved, please join that group. And uh, an amazing community has already flourished and will continue. So thank you so much for joining us, Yasmin. Okay, um, next up, we've got Amber. 
Take it away, Amba. I'm eager to see what you're going to show today. Amber's on mute. I think you're on mute, Amber. Sorry, I forgot to there pull down go. my headphone. <laughs> Thank you so much. Whoopsie. <laughs> I was so into listening to everyone else, I forgot to pull that back down. I'm super excited to share with all of you about how I use Wakelet for professional development materials, as well as for my own professional growth. So I kind of want to go through some of these resources with you to show how I'm using those for those purposes. So I'm going to talk about three main things. The first is just supporting professional development materials, how you can use those collections to curate and share those materials. I also want to talk about how you can use spaces to document your learning, similar to what Ms. Butt and Chloe have already discussed. And third, I want to be able to show you how to use your profile and harness the power of it to not only make your profile more organized, but also to help enhance your professional development as well. So let's talk about how to support your professional development. So some of the things that I use them for, I mentioned earlier that um, I'm an instructional technologist at the district level. So a lot of what I do is gathering resources, creating resources on specific topics. And so Wakelet is the perfect platform for me to be able to organize resources and share them. So a lot of the collections I make are digital tool specific, specific. So you'll see in this little GIF going by, maybe I have one on Adobe Spark or on Pear Deck. Um, also, I like to create collections that are specific to how to's or tutorials that actually walk the user through how to do something, especially when many of us can't be in person and we're having to share digital resources or we're finding that teachers like to do things on their own time or other careers like to learn on their own time, having um, a how-to or tutorial in Wakelet makes it easy to step through the process and learn something on your own. Also, another important point is sharing best practices so that people learn how to do something new, but then they also learn how do I do it well? What are those best practices for me to use it with students or best practices to use it independently? Also, I love doing day-by-day -day resources. One of the things you'll see as this scrolls through is I have one called, it's coming up here, 30 Tech Tools in 30 Days Challenge. So that each day, each collection element is actually numbered. So there's um, item one with an image, item two with an image, and then people can come and try one new thing a day. By uh, changing things into bite-sized materials so that you can learn a little bit at a time makes things seem a little easier. So that's a way to make professional development not seem so overwhelming. I also love sharing tips and tricks, and I like inviting others to collaborate on those collections so that everyone can add in their tips and tricks and it becomes a crowdsource of information on how to make things easier or how to use something more creatively. Also procedures and guidelines, those are kind of boring, but those are those things we have to share, how to appropriately use things or what are the guidelines for use, and I use Wakelet collections for that as well. The last one I love, ideas and resources. Again, this is a great place to crowdsource. For example, we suddenly in our school district, every student got a Chromebook. And so that we were suddenly thrown into a one to one environment, a one device to one student environment. And we had many teachers that had no idea how to manage this. And we couldn't physically be there to support them. So we created a Wakelet so that everyone can add in their ideas. Here's how I'm doing this. Here's an idea of something that's worked for me. So this is another great way to um, share our own professional learning using collections that focus on that. Then after you have these collections, what I love are creating super collections or comprehensive collections, where you have a collection that has collections embedded in it. For example, the GIF you see here, if I had a, a whole collection on how to become an expert in Google Drive, and inside that I had a sub collection of how to do Google Docs, how to use Google Forms, how to use Google Sheets, then users can come to this massive collection and then decide what they wanna focus on so it's more personalized learning. Another thing that I love, and I know Yasmin mentioned this, being able to add a variety of media types is so helpful with respect to professional learning. I think sometimes as teachers of teachers, we often forget that 
educators also have their own personal learning styles or personal learning needs and their accessibility tools built right in to help with much of this just by putting them in a Wakelet collection. They can translate it into their own language or they can have it read aloud. And we do have adults that need those um, tools and resources as well. So it provides a consistent platform to be able to add all these different resources, which in turn also makes it more engaging. And here's what I love. I call it the umbrella theory. It's easy to update because if I send a teacher to a Wakelet link, but let's say that the tool has changed, the, re, uh, the where the tools are located has changed or their help guides have changed. I don't have to change the link. They're still going to that same wake up collection. All I have to do is update the resources in that link so that there's no sharing multiple links. Don't use this one anymore, go to this one instead. I still have that one main place they can go and that makes it super easy. So there's also a variety of sharing methods, whether you're a social media user or you want to email your posts, embed it, use a QR code, I can share it in any way that makes sense, whether or not we have um, internet access, I can still even share a, a PDF if they don't. So lots of different ways um, to get that content out to teachers. So that's kind of how to make the, the professional learning easier using the collections. But now I want to talk about how to document it. And Ms. Kind of, Ms. kind of mentioned this just a little bit ago. So I want to kind of share with you how I've done this. So I create a space in my Wakelet profile, and you can kind of see it here. I call it professional content. And I have that space solely focused on professional learning, my own professional learning. So whenever I want to develop my professional learning goals, I have a template that I use that goes through and asks, how is what you're doing relevant to your career? What are your SMART goals? Are they gonna be sustainable? Are they realistic? What kind of tools and resources do you need to meet that goal? So I keep my my professional development goal right inside my uh, space for professional content. Also, any conference that I attend, I add to this space so that I have all the links in one place. And that goes back to exactly what Chloe was referring to. When you want to make sure that you hang on to that learning, all I have to do is add it into this space. And I also have something called a workshop takeaway template that I use. So anytime I go to a session, I make a copy of this template, I put in all of the resources, the, the contact information for the presenter, the links and the ideas. But here's what I love. At the very bottom, I have a section, how am I going to use this? And that gives me action items. So when I do come back, like Ms. Bill was saying, when you come back from a conference, whether it's virtual or physical, it gives you a place to realistically share what are those things I'm going to do with the learning that I got. And so again, that's the workshop takeaway. But where I have the most bang for my buck here is I have a pro professional portfolio and I anything I do any publications sharing like today sharing here today is already in my portfolio, because oftentimes when we go back and we think about what have we done professionally, we, we forget those things that are so important, but this keeps it updated. Anytime I have a new badge anytime I get kudos for something, or I have something new that I want to add a new certification a presentation. I've done, I add it right in. So then I could share that profile with someone if I wanted to just share, here's a little bit about me, they can kind of see those things, but a lot of people are even sort of thinking them as a newly revamped resume, if you will. So great way to use um, spaces to be able to show your professional learning. So now I want to focus really quickly on how you make your profile work for you. And this is something that Yasmin showed and I 100% agree with her. This is such a powerful place to make your profile work. And I think people get a little confused sometimes between spaces and your profile. So this is uh, hopefully gonna help those of you that maybe are a little confused about the difference between your profile and those spaces. But on your profile, the one that's linked to your main account, you have a place where you can give it a personal touch. Tell a little bit about you, put a picture of you, add something at the top that kind of umbrellas your entire um, wakelet presence, if you will. Add your social media links so that as people follow you on wakelet, they can also follow you in other platforms as well so that you can really create that dynamic professional learning um, community. 
Also, you can create sections. And so what I do on my sections is I have, you know, resources for apps, internet safety and citizenship. Are you looking for technology integration support? Are you just looking for news? Are you looking for templates? And this is a way to, so if someone follows me, they can come straight here and look at these um, sections and then they can click and enhance their navigation to go quickly to where they need to go, um, where they want to, to visit, what they want to see, what they want to learn. And it adds it allows me to customize my content because you spend time creating that content. So it gives you a way to kind of um, chunk it up into different areas to make it easier for your visitors to see. So that's in a nutshell how I use uh, Wakelet for my, uh, my own personal professional learning, but also to support professional growth in others. And I'm going to put a link to this presentation. So if you want to use some of the ideas, uh, you'll have all those resources. And I'm going to share that with you in chat for just a minute. But I really appreciate your time. And I really hope that you think about using Wakelet, uh, whether anyway professionally, even if you're using it for personal use, all of us still are lifelong learners. And so thinking about ways that you can document the things that you do that enhance your uh, personal life is a wonderful way to use Wakelet. So thank you. Thank you so, so much, Amber. That was an incredible presentation. I mean, where, where do I begin? Where do I start? So professional development obviously is a, a huge thing. You know, I've, I've, we see more and more educators every day picking up Wakelet and using it to, um, you know, showcase evidence of their professional development because it's really important, you know, like if you're deciding to, to perhaps have a career change or move schools or do whatever it is that you want to do, you want to have a, a nice record of your achievements and your development so that it's very easy at one, you know, with one click, somebody can just go ahead and see it. And also just for yourself, you know, um, being able to organize the awesome things that have happened. I do it myself with, um, with Wakelet in my work every single day, you know, I make sure to capture things as they happen. If somebody puts out an amazing tweet that really touches me, I, I save it to Wakelet using the browser extension and then you know a month a year later I can, I can go back to that and see it trying to find that content a year later on twitter is impossible you're never going to do it like twitter has an advanced search but you know good luck trying to find that it's all about capturing it as it as it happens so i i love that idea of documenting your learning as well and of course organizing the professional development the emphasis on the organization it's not just catching things quickly and randomly and just dumping them all in a bucket it's the ability to curate them the ability to add your own thoughts the ability to move them around and, and change them and create like a living breathing collection um i also i love the emphasis on like creating tutorials as well um this is again this is one of those things which we never imagined in 100 years that people would be using wakelet to do but yeah creating tutorials so we have um, you know, we've got tutorials on Wakelet on how to use Microsoft Teams, how to use Google Classrooms, how to use these things. And the reason why people have chosen Wakelet to showcase that is you can have a video, you can have a PDF, you can have an infographic, and you can have text um, all in the same place. So really, really powerful stuff there. Um, and I think a lot of people are asking you to share a template and to share that, but you're sharing the whole presentation, which is even better. And uh, those of you who may miss it as well, we'll, we'll make sure to share that in the email that we send. Um, one, one other thing, I love this idea of like crowdsourcing information. So a lot of people do use Wakelet just for themselves personally, but I find that it's really powerful when you just put that link out there for people to, to, to join, and then you get to crowdsource all of these new ideas and, and like you said, new information. So the, the way that I see it is that if I have an idea and you have an idea, then each of us only has one idea. If we exchange them, then we both have two ideas. So if you can imagine that multiplied over and over, um, you know, Wakelet's really good at that. And it's super easy to use as well because people don't need a Wakelet account to actually add their thoughts and their ideas. So, you know, if you've just done a class or a lesson or a presentation on anything, it's an amazing way to create like a back channel. You just put the Wakelet link and say, you know, share your thoughts and your ideas there. Um, again, you you know, the way that you presented it, it's like, it's an engaging way to share content. So one of the things that jumped out at me was you referred to certain pieces of content, perhaps as uninspiring, maybe a little bit boring. Not every piece of content is amazing, right? But the ability to like put them into bite-sized chunks, I know that that resonated with people in the chat, um, the ability to put them into kind of small uh, sections. And then also, Rather than just having hyperlink after hyperlink after hyperlink, it's like just adding something simple like a thumbnail is enough to make something clickable and way more engaging. So love that. Um, and also this idea of a centralized hub of content. You know, when we created Wakelet right at the start, what we wanted to do was empower people to say, 
this is the internet. It's complete chaos. It's a mess, but there's really beautiful things going on, you know, almost like the weather, like the weather can be troublesome sometimes, but we appreciate it and we like it and we can't really control it. Um, what we wanted people to do was harness that power of the internet. So, you know, gather things from all over the web and then bring them all together in one place in one centralized area. And I think that you demonstrated that absolutely perfectly. Um, thank you so much. I mean, we, we finished a little bit ahead of schedule, but it feels like I, I've, I've learned so, so, so much. Um, thank you everybody in the chat for getting involved. It's been an incredible active chat. I really, really appreciate it. Let me just quickly scan through yeah on the q a most people are asking for links so um it, you know in the in the next two minutes or so everybody can just throw their links on there so that everyone can see it um and i think that's it thank you all so so much for joining us um i know that sorry chloe did you i can see you mouthing something i'm i'm intrigued as to what it is steve wants to know where the puppet is oh yes that's true Before, <laughs> okay all right, if you, if you don't mind, Yasmin. Yasmin. <laughs> I know, Yasmin, I would love if the puppet could say goodbye. I, I'd love that and sign us <laughs> off. <laughs> I can see, I can see Jasmine preparing it. <laughs> okay, let me, let me unmute you. No, she, no, he isn't angry. <laughs> he has a ticket. <laughs> he said goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love it. I love it so much. We're going to have to try and get the puppet involved in Community Week this year, I think. Oh, that's another good thing as well. Um, so, yeah, if anybody was on Twitter last night and saw the, the tweet that we just uh, announced, that's a teaser trailer for Wakelet Community Week, okay? I want everybody on this chat to join Wakelet Community Week. We're going to put all the registration links and everything out later on, but that's the announcement. So it starts from this, it's from the 7th to the 11th of July, okay? No, June, sorry. Gosh, sorry. 7th or 11th of June. So make sure that you're there. We're going to have keynote speakers we're going to do some incredible prizes it's going to be wacky it's going to be fun um we're really really bringing the heat this year we know that it's been a difficult year for everybody right no one's been able to travel nobody's been able to go on holiday nobody's been able to do any awesome things so we're going to try and bring you out of your home for a few days and just you know transform the way that you've been feeling in the last 12 months and, and and have you something have something that you can really really look forward to and yeah we're going to bring a lot of energy it's going to be incredible so stay tuned on social media for that we'll also be announcing the winner of the wakelet impact award then as well so um that will be on wakelet live on the 7th so i hope that everybody uh, gets to attend so thank you all so much i'll leave the chat open for just a few more moments um uh, our guests chloe amber Yasmin, thank you so much. If you wanted to give like a final message to our audience, that would be incredible. Chloe, do you want to go ahead and, and say goodbye and a little inspirational message maybe? An inspirational message. A lot of pressure, I know. <laughs> well, I, I tell you what, I've got a to-do, I already had a big to-do list as it was, but now after watching Yasmin and Amber, I'm like, I've got about six more things I need to do that I want to do. One is making a CV. I don't even if people are you know not sure about CVs on Wakelet, don't care. Going to make it happen. Let's make it happen. Love it. Um, thank you so much for inviting me here, and I'm super excited to see every like every single person in that chat <laughs> and that is here right now at Community Week. Thank you so much, Chloe. Thank you, uh, Yasmin. Do you want to say goodbye to everybody? Yeah, uh, thank you. I am so happy to be here to be a number for this family. Uh, I am. Uh, I, I, I. I want to say to all the Arabic here, uh, uh, like uh, Ahmed Al Najjar, as Taqabbalah Sawmuk, Waftar, and uh, I will. Uh, I, I want to say to all Tunisia here, Shahi <laughs> Tayba. They, they understand me, but you don't know. <laughs> thank you <laughs> thank you so much Yasmin I know that there are so many people in the Arab speaking world and beyond who are celebrating uh, Ramadan as well at the moment so yeah, I wish everybody a really healthy enjoyable yeah. Ramadan and um, and yeah an amazing Eid as well thank you this name um, is uh, Saharati Musaharati is a uh, man here in Tunisia he come at night to wake up to wake up us to uh, to take our breakfast with uh, with a lump oh amazing amazing i love it <laughs> yeah he has to make an appearance he has to make an appearance he'll have to wake us all up for community live especially the people in malaysia and indonesia because i know that it's like 1 a.m 2 a.m for them so they may need waking up thank you so much yasmin um amber what about yourself do you want to say a quick goodbye to everyone sure thank you so much for having me and for letting me share my love of wakelet um I just want to say to everybody, never stop learning. Even if you're not in education, 
being in this community has taught me so much and has allowed me to connect with so many people from all over the world and I learn something new every day. So thanks and peace and love to everybody. Thank you so much. Uh, Amber, Chloe and Yasmin, I'm sure that everybody is really, really excited about the ideas that you presented today. Thank you all. Um, this has been recorded, so everybody will be able to have access to a copy of this. We'll be putting it on our YouTube channel um, probably in the next one or two days. Um, but yeah, I want to say a big, big thank you to everybody who joined us around the world. Um, our presenters, you can just go ahead and uh, mute and uh, stop your video. And then we'll just spend the next three minutes for anybody to catch up on the chat and see if any links that they've missed. Um, but yeah, thank you all so much. We'll give it another three, four minutes before we end the chat. So I really appreciate it. Thank you all. See you next time.